Welcome to Unit 11. In this unit you will learn how to talk about things you can and can't do. I can cook, but I can't make cakes. Oh, and I can speak French. Bonjour, ça va? Are you good at making things? This unit has a video about a craft show where people make amazing objects. In this unit you will also learn how to ask for and offer things. Can I give you a lift? Can you tell me the time? Do you have a smartphone? How often do you use it? I use my smartphone all the time to make phone calls, surf the net, play games and listen to music. In reading and speaking you will read all about the history of the smartphone and its different uses. In vocabulary and speaking we will look at adjectives and nouns that go together. For example we don't say delicious sport, we say delicious food. What do you say when you are late for your English class? How about when you are lost? In everyday English we will focus on phrases you can use to talk about everyday problems. Mr. Class, go online to learn and practice. Have fun! See you soon! Eleven point one. What can they do? One. Marcus is an interpreter. He can speak German and Spanish fluently. Two. Seb is an athlete. He can run very fast. Three. Thomas is a mechanic. He can mend cars. Four. Anna is a pilot. She can fly an Airbus A380. 5. Sara is a musician. She can play the violin really well. 6. Lucy is a schoolgirl. She can write interesting stories. 7. Leo is Lucy's dad. He can make fantastic cakes. Eleven point two. Can Marcus speak Spanish? Yes, he can. Can you speak Spanish? No, I can't. Can Leo make cakes? Yes, he can. Can you make cakes? No, I can't. I can't cook at all. 11.3 He can make cakes. He can't run fast. Can you cook? Yes, I can. 11.4 
11.4. Of course I can. Lucy, you're really good at using the computer. I can't do that. Can you do lots of things on it? Of course I can, Grandad. I can play lots of games on it. My favourite game is Minecraft. You can build your own house. It's great. Wow. Can you build a house for me? Of course I can. I can make a really big one for you with six bedrooms. Six bedrooms? Amazing! What other things can you do on your computer? Lots and lots. I can do my maths homework and write stories. Sometimes I send my stories to my friends and I can chat to my friends too. Wow, that is clever. Now, your mum says you can speak a little French. Don't tell mum, but I'm terrible at French. I can't speak it at all. But my friend Helen can speak French really well because her mum's French. They speak French at home all the time. Well, you can learn from Helen. Can you speak any other languages? No, I can't. Can you speak French, Grandad? No, I can't. But I can speak German. What other things can you do? I can cook. I can make delicious cakes. Dad makes great cakes and sometimes I help him. Yesterday, we made a really big chocolate cake. Mmm, can I have some? Of course you can. This is the Living Craft Show. Visitors come here to watch artists and craftspeople working. There are a lot of interesting and talented people at the show today. You can watch them make all kinds of fantastic things. And you can buy many of these things too. Andrew is a sculptor. He makes sculptures with clay. It's a difficult job and he can't work quickly. Richard is a sculptor too. But he makes wooden sculptures with a chainsaw. He can make sculptures very quickly. But it's a dangerous job, so he always works carefully. Visitors can't try using a chainsaw. But they can try many other things at the show. Simon teaches people to carve stone. Even children can try it. Jasper is only 10 years old, but he can carve very well. You can learn to paint here too. Some of these people can't paint at all, but Linda's a great teacher. By the end of the lesson, they can all paint a little bit.
There are many talented young craftspeople working at the show today. Neil makes traditional wooden furniture. He uses a very old tool called an adze. He wears special shoes because the adze is quite a dangerous tool. Emily makes beautiful silver jewellery. She works quickly and carefully. Visitors can buy some of her necklaces and earrings at the show today. Ben makes modern wooden furniture. Some of his furniture is very expensive because it takes a very long time to make. Anna makes interesting ceramic sculptures. The designs are very unusual. All of the artists and craftspeople at the Living Craft Show are very talented and it's wonderful watching them work. Eleven point five Bobby Boyd. Hi, my name's Bobby. I'm Irish, but I live in Lisbon in Portugal. I teach English at a big school here. I can speak Portuguese fluently and German a little bit. I love it here. Most Saturdays, I leave the city and go to Sintra. It's a beautiful old town, very near Lisbon. I go with friends, and we usually go horse riding or walking in the lovely countryside. Sometimes we go surfing too. The beaches are amazing. All my Portuguese friends can surf really well. I can't surf very well, so I sunbathe. I love the beaches here. On Sunday nights, we sometimes go to Fado restaurants. Fado is traditional Portuguese music. I love it. I can now sing Fado quite well, but I can't play the guitar. Sunday is also the day for sardinhas asadas, grilled sardines in English. My friend George always cooks delicious sardines with potatoes. I can't cook at all, but I sometimes make Irish coffee for my friends. Coffee, whiskey, and cream. They love it, and so do I. Eleven point six, pronunciation. One. I can ski quite well. Two. She can't speak German at all. Three. He can speak English fluently. Four. Why can't you come to my party? Five. We can't run fast. Six. They can read music. Seven. Can you play the violin? Eight. Can cat swim? Eleven point seven. Requests and offers. One. 
Can I help you? Uh, yes. Uh, can you tell us about this TV, please? Two. Can you tell me the time? It's four o'clock. Three. Can I give you a lift? Yes, please. That's so kind of you. Four. Can I have the bill, please? Yes, of course. Here you are. Five. Can you speak more slowly, please? I'm sorry. Is this better? Can you understand me now? Six. Oh, can you open the door for me, please? Of course I can. Uh, careful. Eleven point eight. What can't you do on your smartphone? Not much. The history. Was there ever a world with no smartphones? Well, yes, there was. IBM made the first smartphone in 1993. It was big and heavy. It also cost an amazing eight hundred and ninety-nine dollars. The first BlackBerry went on sale in 2002. Tens of millions of people used the BlackBerry. It sent emails and surfed the net. In 2007, Apple's first iPhone arrived in the shops, and it was very popular. Today, Samsung sells the most smartphones worldwide. Now more people in the world have mobile phones than have toilets, and we use our smartphones more than 110 times a day. Hundreds of uses. Of course, you can text friends, send emails, and take photos and videos with your phone. But we use our phones for so much more. Our phones can open and lock our front doors, and a sat-nav app can give us directions when we're lost. There's an app that tells us how healthy we are, and there's even an app that tells us how well we sleep. We can ask our phone what song is on the radio. We can play chess with a friend thousands of miles away, and we can Skype our family when we're not at home. The smartphone is a really important part of our lives. We can't live without it. Eleven point nine. What do you do on your smartphone? Keith, age seventy three. I play Scrabble with my son on my phone. I love it. I live in Scotland and my son lives in London. Playing Scrabble makes us feel nearby. We usually play in the evening after he finishes work. It's the best part of my day. I usually win. I had an eight-letter word yesterday and got 82 points. Maddie, age 34. I'm a journalist. I work for the BBC. I travel a lot and take photos and videos of news events around the world on my phone and send them back to the BBC in London. It's amazing that I can send a video from Mumbai in India and it's on the six o'clock news. I use my phone 24-7, because news is 24-7. Antonio, age 21. I'm Italian, but I live and work in London at the moment. I miss my family, so my phone is very important to me. Most evenings when I finish work, I phone home. It's wonderful. I use FaceTime to see and speak to my family, so I don't feel so sad. I can even see my dog, Clara. I speak to her, and she knows my voice. Kylie, 
age 17. The main thing I use my phone for is to message my friends. We text all the time about everything in our lives, big and small. I often go on Facebook too. It's a great way to get everybody's news and we can share all our photos. Yesterday, we posted photos from this amazing party we went to last weekend. It was wild. Josh, age eight. My mum and dad say I can use my phone after school and homework and sometimes at the weekend. Mostly I play games on it with my friends. My favourite game is Flappy Birds. It's great fun. I love it. We have big competitions. I win a lot. Not always, of course, but most times. Taylor, age 42. I work for a large global company. I work long hours and I travel a lot. My phone is very important for work. I can arrange meetings and talk to clients when I'm on the train. And I send and receive emails. But every weekend, when I can, I turn my phone off and just spend time with my wife and two young daughters. My job is important to me, but my family is too. Eleven point ten adjectives and nouns. One. A Ferrari is a fantastic car. It's very fast. Yeah, I know, but it's also very expensive. Two. We can't go for a walk. It's too cold and wet. Yes, we can. Look, it's sunny again. Come on. Three. How tall is your brother? He's very tall. 1.9 metres. I'm only 1.7 metres. 4. I think motor racing is a really dangerous sport. I know it's dangerous, but it's exciting too. That's why I love it. 5. Can I have a fresh orange juice, please? I'm afraid we don't have fresh. OK. Just a glass of water, then. 6. New York is a very cosmopolitan city. I love it. Me too. I can't believe I'm here. 7. Charlie Chaplin made some very funny films, don't you think? No, I don't like his films. I think they're really boring. Eleven point eleven everyday problems. One. Excuse me, can you help me? I'm lost. Where do you want to go? The Canadian Embassy. Turn left onto Trafalgar Square. It's straight on. You can't miss it. Two. Excuse me. This ticket machine doesn't work. Did you push the green button? No, I didn't. Ah, well. Here's your ticket. Oh, thank you very much. Three. I'm so sorry I'm late. It's OK. The film starts in 15 minutes. I missed the bus. I told you, it doesn't matter. Come on, let's go. Four. Come on, it's time to leave. But I can't find the car keys. I can't find them anywhere. You put them in your bag. Did I? Oh, yes, here they are. Phew. Five. Are you all right? Yes, I think so. Does your arm hurt? It hurts a bit, but I think it's OK. Six. 
Oh, no. What's the matter? There's something wrong with my computer. I can't get on the internet, so I can't send emails. Turn everything off and try again. That sometimes works.